Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Fire departments across the state will now have to abide by new rules in how they train their youngest members. Earlier this week, Kentucky Fire Commission Executive Director Ronnie Day issued a new set of restrictions on the Fire Commission's junior firefighter programs at departments across the state. In the order, which was issued March 14th and was effective immediately, junior firefighters can attend classroom training only and only at their home departments. Junior firefighters are also now restricted from any form of hands-on training, may not ride on any fire apparatus at any time, and may not take part in responses to dispatched runs of any nature. Pike County Emergency Management Director Doug Tackett said he worries that the new restrictions will ultimately affect membership at volunteer fire departments already struggling to attract new members. Uh, one thing that the fire departments rely on the junior firefighter program is to uh, increase their membership. And there is a shortage of volunteers for uh, these departments now. And this is one tool they use to have members that were able to come in and train and then later step into those roles and uh, give them the numbers of people they needed to, for responses and stuff. Uh, but we have a lot of departments that are shorthanded and they need, uh, they need volunteers. State Fire Commission spokesperson Jeremy Rogers, in response to an inquiry from EKB News, said the Fire Commission is working with workers' compensation and both agencies are working to return the junior firefighters program back to normal. Rogers added, however, that any department that violates the new directives would assume all liability for their actions. Tackett said he is hopeful the junior firefighters program, in which numerous departments across the region participate, will be allowed to return to normal. That's the hope. Whatever reason brought the review about, hopefully that it will be a positive outcome and maybe restore the program to what it was. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.